Hey everyone, how you doing? This is Joe from Hogging Out. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. In this video, guys, we're going to discuss my plans for herping 2021. Also, we're going to go over the snake species that you can find here in South Jersey. Now, yesterday at work, I took a video of the area, the wetlands that are behind where I work. And you know what? It's about 50 to 80 acres and it's protected wetlands. Once or twice a year, I'll see people from the state come in and actually survey the wetlands behind my work. Now, my plans for herp in 2021 is actually to go back to the places I used to herp, where I used to find ringneck snakes, garter snakes, northern water snakes, rat snakes, racers. I have a lot of good areas that I'm going to be going to this year to find them yet again. But I plan on exploring new areas like the place behind where I work. Now I flip here and there on my lunch breaks at work and I have found red belly snakes. I've found uh, smooth earth snakes, worm snakes. There's a lot of racers and uh, uh, black rat snakes back there. And I plan on going a little bit deeper down this one stream that we're gonna see here in a video. That looks very promising for maybe new species I've never found yet that are in southern New Jersey. Now, I do plan on prepping for my Herping 2021 adventures, and that includes setting down a lot of tin, a lot of particle board. I got some floor mats at work that are black, and maybe at work, I can find maybe other herps like salamanders or newts. Now, the funny thing I want to tell you about work, every year around September, I see a ton, for maybe a couple days, I see a ton of toads, what I call penny toads when they're babies, but they're actually Fowler's toads. And you know what? They're plentiful where I work. Once a year for like two days, you'll see all these babies jumping around everywhere in the parking lot, in the wetlands. I mean, like they actually come into my parts department where I work. That just happened actually a couple months ago. Now, before we get to the species of snakes in South Jersey, let's check out this video that I shot yesterday at work. All right, everybody, this could be one area I'm going to be herping this year in. Uh, this is actually right around the corner from where I work. Uh, this has a really nice stream. There is a ton of tadpoles and leopard frogs in here every year. I mean, like, as soon as I come to this bank, you would see at least 15, 20 just jump in the water. This water is very clean around the springtime. And you see a shitload of, you see a shitload, did I say? You see a crap load of uh, tadpoles in here. And I've actually caught a red belly snake here and also a, a couple smooth earth snakes here and there's a bunch of rat snakes and racers around here too as well so this goes back about 500 yards and if you follow this down nice path on both sides so there's a lot of potential here all right that's where we were at right on the other side of those trees right there at the stream this is on the other side of the stream and I see a ton of black racers and uh, rat snakes here every year in this area. It's where we put tires. We flip the tires and there's always snakes in here. Always. Underneath the trash. Underneath there, there probably will be a rat snake if it was summertime in the morning. This is protected lands. This is the wetlands back here where I work. And it goes back, like I said, about four or 500 yards. There's a lot of trails back here. Uh, there are deer back here. But there's a lot of things you can flip back here. As you can see here, there's a lot of concrete right there. And nobody goes back here. Nobody goes herping back here, I know for a fact. I never see anybody back here except for uh, the state when they come out here and they do their surveys. So all this is all wetlands. And like I said, I found red belly snakes here in the spring and fall. And I'll show you where I caught one smooth earth snake. So this floods out every time it rains. And this is where, believe it or not, I'm going to show you where I call, caught a smooth earth snake. Right there in those rocks. Right there. I flipped a rock there and what do you know, a three inch freaking smooth earth snake was sitting right there. So, like I said, there's a lot of potential here. So I'm going to, let, I'm going to lay down a lot of tin here, no doubt. A lot of boards, tin. I know there's a shitload of salamanders back there, probably in newts. So... We'll be herping back here this year a lot. Now that's one place in 2021 I can't wait to herp. That being said, I'm going to hit all the old places I used to go to in my youth. Also, I'm going to hit the Pine Barrens in South Jersey very hard. I'm going to hit that place very hard because there's a lot of species, rare species in South Jersey that you can actually catch in the Pine Barrens that you don't see anywhere else in New Jersey. We're going to go over those species here now and also other species you can catch in South Jersey. Let's do this. 
All right, everyone, these are the snakes that you can find in New Jersey. Now we're going to concentrate on the snakes that we're going to find this year in South Jersey, or at least hit some of my targeted species that I want to find this year in the Pine Barrens and also in the rest of South Jersey. Now, the one snake I used to target a lot in my youth was the Northern Water Snake. And I do have a video here, Snake Adventure video, that I discussed with my friend John, where we found a northern water snake and it was five to five and a half feet long. Now, northern water snakes are known to grow to at least four and a half feet max, but the one that we found was humongous. So check out that video below in the description box. Now, another snake I have found in the Pine Barrens over my years of herpin is the corn snake. And the corn snake is a beautiful snake, no doubt, guys. And there's a lot of beautiful snakes in the Pine Barrens in South Jersey. Now, there's a couple targeted species I have not found yet in my years of herpin, and they're primarily in the Pine Barrens. The first one we're going to target this year is the Eastern Milk Snake, and you know what, guys? They're usually in wooded areas, rocky hillsides, and they're underneath a lot of cover, too, as well. Now, the other targeted species I want to find is the Northern Scarlet Snake. It's another beautiful snake, has sort of the same coloration as the Eastern Milk Snake. Now, this is my main targeted species right here, and that is the Coastal Plain Milk Snake. Now, in southern New Jersey, the Eastern Milk Snake integrates with the Scarlet Snake, and it produces this Coastal Plain Milk Snake. They are so freaking beautiful. So hopefully, we find a couple of these cuties in 2021. This is one snake I have never found herp in, and that's the Eastern King Snake. Now, I'm hoping that where I work, when we go further back down this one stream, we might be able to find an Eastern King Snake. Now, another snake I wish to find, which I've never found before, is the Northern Pine Snake. Now, the pine snakes grow very large, and it's actually a threatened species in South Jersey. Mostly, you will find these guys in the Pine Barrens in New Jersey. The reason why they're hard to find, guys, is because they burrow a lot underneath the sandy habitat, and that's where they also lay their eggs. And the reason why they're so hard to find is because they're usually burrowed underneath the sand. Now, you need to catch them early morning as they come out of their burrows and they're sunning. And they usually sun not too far from their burrows. Now, here are two snakes that you find all the time in New Jersey. No matter where you're at, they're everywhere. And you see them in trees. You see them on the ground. They're everywhere. And that's the black rat snake and also the northern black racer. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail when it comes to the black racer and also the black rat snake because they're so common in New Jersey. And trust me, we're going to find dozens of these bad boys in 2021. Now, the one snake I know we will find this year, and that's the Eastern Hognose Snake. Now, I have found plenty of Eastern Hognose Snakes in the areas that I know where they are at, and we're going to hit those areas this year. Now, the amazing thing about Eastern Hognose Snakes is you never know where you're going to find because they have different colorations, different patterns. And the best thing when you find an Eastern Hognose Snake is their display, their attitude, the way they react to you when you find them. Once you first find an Eastern Hognose Snake, they'll flare their neck up like a cobra and they'll also hiss at you. And if that doesn't work, what they do is they flip over onto their back and they start playing dead. They'll do a lot of movement with their tongue sticking out, and it's just so funny to watch them play dead. So hopefully, when we do find an Eastern Hognose Snake, we can actually get that display on camera. Now, some of the smaller snakes we will find this year in 2021 is the Northern Brown Snake, a.k.a. Decay's Brown Snake. I personally have never found a Decay's Brown Snake, which is really weird. Now, over the years, the other three I've found a lot of, and that's the Northern Red Belly Snake, the Eastern Smooth Earth Snake, and also the Eastern Worm Snake. Now, back in my youth where I used to live, we used to find a lot of ringneck snakes, and that's the Northern Ringneck Snake and also the Southern Ringneck Snake. Now, two species you'll find in New Jersey which are abundant. You can find them anywhere, and that's the Eastern Garter Snake and also the Eastern Ribbon Snake. Now, another snake I have never found, and that's a rough green snake. Now, I hear they're fairly common in the Pine Barrens. You can find them in bushes, in the trees, low-hanging branches, usually around eye level, if you look good enough, you will find a rough green snake. Now, in 2021, I plan on finding some cane brakes, a.k.a. timber rattlers. And you know what? You can find them in the Pine Barrens, and I know where to find them. So hopefully, guys, this year, we flip a couple timber rattlers, a.k.a. cane brakes. And you know what? I can't wait to find these bad boys. And there you have it, everybody. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, please check me out on Instagram, Hogging Out NJ. And also, if you're new here on YouTube... 
click that subscribe button and also the notification bell to receive notifications on when I upload a new video. That being said, everybody, this is Joe from Hogging Out. I'm out. Have a good weekend.